You're watching Dr. Alan Reeves in the Jayhawk Cap and Dr. Koji Ebersol perform the latest technology at the University of Kansas Hospital to treat an aneurysm. It's called the Pipeline Embolization Device, recently approved by the FDA. The patient? 65-year-old Marjorie Philip Hayek, who learned of her aneurysm during a routine checkup for a previous medical condition. Marjorie's aneurysm measures about an inch long. Joyce Williams also discovered her aneurysm during a follow-up exam. Hers is smaller, but still worrisome. Doctors say the risk of an aneurysm causing medical complications is about 1% per year. Joyce knows the risk all too well. Both women turned out to be good candidates for the new pipeline procedure. Using a very fine catheter, doctors make a small incision into an artery in the leg. The catheter slowly threads the pipeline into position at the aneurysm. This animation video provided by the manufacturer shows what happens next more clearly. Doctors position the pipeline just beyond the aneurysm to deploy it. The pipeline expands against the walls of the artery. Blood flow to the aneurysm is blocked. The blood inside the aneurysm forms a clot, reducing the likelihood it will grow bigger or rupture. Aneurysms successfully treated with the pipeline often shrink over time. Both patients had their surgery the same morning at the University of Kansas Hospital and went home after one night's stay. To learn more, click on the messages from Drs. Ebersol and Reed. For the University of Kansas Hospital,